Hello there. We're out here in uh, sunny Maryland today, uh, standing at the USDA ARS facility, and you're embedded within a long-term cropping systems experiment that was funded by USDA ARS's uh, weed and insect management program. And that program is funding various different uh, big issues uh, related to pest management in the U.S. And herbicide resistance is a real crisis right now all over the U.S. We're seeing more and more resistant weeds that are problems to manage. And so we're looking at innovative strategies for addressing herbicide resistance. And so in this long-term cropping systems experiment, we have a collection of different tactics that we're looking at individually and com in combination to see how effective they are at suppressing weeds. So we're looking at cover crops, different herbicide programs, and we're looking at Seed Destroyer, which is a machine that has a mill on it that was designed for crushing rocks. And when the, the chaff goes through the combine, it separates out the fine weed seeds from the chaff, and that fine dust and weed seeds goes into the cage mill and gets pulverized and shot out the back of the HSD. And so that we're basically taking all weeds, like this pigweed here, that has retained its seeds on the plant at the time of harvest. If the seeds were no longer on this plant, then it would not be a useful way of controlling these weeds. But because these weeds retain the seeds at harvest, when we come back through this field and combine it, we take these weed seeds with the soybeans, we separate them, and we grind them, and remove them from the weed seed bank. Thank you.